of what her behaviour is like. Lucy, you have your chance to come up. Come up with your video off. That is absolutely fine. Yeah, I know this is her game. Like, guys, I'm, I'm not daft. She's very good at me manipulating, as you can all see. Lucy, I haven't said I'm a police officer. Yeah, please, yeah, this woman, yeah, I was going to say, if I'm not a police officer, Lucy. Lucy, come into my live, darling. Come, please come up and have your say. I will switch the comments off. So, no, you know, I, I'm trying to be decent here. I've never said once I'm a police officer. Thank you, child protection team. I appreciate you. What exactly is my agenda? My agenda is to raise awareness of what you have done and how you ridicule and laugh about it and how you are now um, going round trying to recruit new people to absolutely terrorise. You are not qualified. Um, you laugh and joke about what you did to a child. I'm not hiding on TikTok. I'm not attacking you. I'm coming. I'm raising awareness of what you've done. Lucy, you did it eight years ago. You still slept with a child. You still slept with a child. You did. Okay, you had still had sex with a child. Thank you, Mods. You're absolutely, you're doing amazing. Exactly. Regardless, yeah, this is the real Lucy. I'm just going to add a few more mods in here because I can see it getting a bit feisty in here. And just to warn you all, if this account goes... I know. Yes, the child was 15 at the time. Lucy, I'm giving you the, thank you, I'm giving you the chance to come up and have your say. I'm not revealing my face, end of. You don't have to have your camera on, but I would like you to answer some of the comments that people are put into you, please. Yes, I am qualified to judge you. I work within child protection um, area. I am qualified to judge you. Anybody on here that has got children is qualified to judge you. You're not qualified to coach, but you do. It was eight years ago, correct? It was in 2017, but you were still slept with a child. I don't need qualify. I don't need to tell you my qualifications. Rise up, have your say. Come up and answer what people. No, she didn't go to jail. She had three. Oh, sorry. 2016. My bad. There you go, guys. It, it just proves how proud she is of it. Okay, Lucy. Come up and have your say, Lucy. Exactly, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Lulu, you're welcome to jump in the box as well, my love. Yeah, and the way... She, no, we're not wrong. And the way you speak to your son, offering him ladies of the night and alcohol, you are, you are absolutely vile. Oh, the family had to go to court for a non-harassment order that includes minors. That's the recent one. Wow. Honest to God. I haven't committed a crime, lovely. I haven't committed a crime against a child. You have. Um, where's... Where is she? I'll send her an invite. <sighs> there she is. I've invited you up, Lucy. Speak to me like that. I'm an adult at the end of the day. Afternoon. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, are you? 
Right, so would you, I think would you like the comments. We're gonna have a, two seconds, Lucy. Would you, like, have, would you like the comments? I would on? like the comment. I don't mind the comments really being on because I think it's showing people for exactly what they are when they come to lives like this. Because right. I think we need to be very careful here that you are saying that you're a child protection expert and you work I didn't in say child that. protection. I you not... worked in child protection, Lucy. Please, right. correct. please get you worked or work. Like... You worked or work. I work in child protection. So you work in child protection. That's, I mean, okay, good for you. Um, mm -hmm. But again, you, you question my qualifications and you're like putting me online, but you're not really allowing me to ask you if you could put yourself online. And I think that's a little bit unequal, isn't it, really? Because, well, no, because you're sort I of exposing me and child you're questioning me. I have no, 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 let's, let's child. just go back to qualifications here. And I don't right. let's go to these qualifications. not, Lucy. I, I don't know whether you're pretending or not because you refuse to actually quantify your, your claims that you're a child protection, you work in child protection. Mm -hmm. I, I I find it bizarre that you, you, you kind of have given yourself this position and status that this you're entitled to do, do this on social mm -hmm. media, but you're not prepared to back it up with facts. That's all I'm asking. I have got facts. Because anybody... No, anybody could come on TikTok and go, I'm a police officer, or I'm a social worker, or I'm, I'm in child protection, or I'm a doctor, or I'm a nurse. Everybody could do that and then have people following and commenting and liking that. But then you're demanding that I actually, you know, explain myself while you don't really do it for you. Right, Lucy. Does that make sense to you? Right, listen to me. You're not no, no, no. me. And you're no, not I'd like you to answer that. You're right. saying you're in a position to question me on the internet, and I want yes, to know what position you hold to question me on the internet. As somebody that is protecting vulnerable people and children. Are you? Okay. Well, yes. I'll tell you this, and I'll, 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 I'll indulge you, right? You I have been anything. assessed. You're an absolute creep, Lucy. I am okay. indulging you, because you think you're entitled to this information without actually sharing any information on who you are, right? And Everybody that's who, who bizarre. Needs to know, knows who I am. I have background checks done. I have background checks done. I've had I don't know who done. you are. While, don't, while you're commenting you about me you. and posting about me, you're the one. No, you don't. You don't Lucy. need to. But you want people to believe you, but you're refusing to actually no, give information on who you anybody. actually are. Lucy, I don't force opinions on anybody. You're, you're, well, you're kind of, you've, you've called me some choice words you're a beast. already. You are. you are an absolute beast. There yes. we go. There we go. There's a choice. There's a choice but, word. Because I'm not fact. entirely convinced that that's the language that somebody who is a professional in the sector you claim to be in would use. Um, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't use that word. Okay. Okay, but I'm I so use that word, Lucy. There. I'm you use a, a few pretty choice words. You call yourself a narcissist hunter when you're the biggest narcissist on the app. Yeah, can you tell me what qualifications you've got to diagnose people? What's your studies in the DSM five? I ha listen. I'm not disclosing anything to do with yeah, my life. Again, so you've you've diagnosed me as a narcissist, but you have no qualifications. And where are your qualifications, in psychology? Lucy? Where are your qualifications, Lucy? I have. I have spent four years at uni level across quite many, many years. I have studied child development, mental health, social care, and more recently I did psychology and sociology as well. So that makes sense. Um, they're not coaching qualifications. No, they're not coaching. They're not coaching. Exactly. So why are you, you coaching? Don't really need, you don't really need a, a coaching qualification to coach people and wow. in my experience and as I have been doing this fairly recently people tend to come to me because they know that I know my topic and I've come from that type of situation um, they don't come to me because I've got a coaching qualification they come to me because they watch my lives and they listen to my videos listen, and things like that if you're coaching people in trauma you need to have some follow form of qualification these are vulnerable people that you are, that are supposed Who to be well, I'm, I, you don't actually, but um, I mean, yes, I have you worked. Um, Patricia, can you jump up, please? Could you do me a little favour? Could you do me a favour, darling? And could you send don't me a link that tells me... Sarah, me. can you just use my name? Don't call me darling. You've been please. calling me that. You've been calling me darling and honey for the last 10 minutes, okay? Self-reflect. Um, you I could don't want a send me a link. Calling me darling, you could, thank you. See, I've been called a beast and I've been called a yes. wrong -un. Now, you if are. you were a professional... 
If you were a professional, you wouldn't be using that type of language. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Because people like you anger me. You've got it, Katie. You're a TikToker. No, 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 I'm not. So you no, want? I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, you but did. You, the child. you've this is refused to show guys. your face. You've refused to show your face. You've refused yes. to tell me your name. I'm no, my here name is using my, my face. My name is Sarah. That is actually my name. Your my real name. name. So I can go and find out where you are accredited and where you are working. And I can annihilate who you are and what your qualifications are. Because what's happening here is this is very unequal, isn't it? You're faceless. You're hiding. It is equal now. I'm I not hiding and I'm not faceless. So it is equal now. Offensive. Who's this now? Who have we got in here now? I'm this not offensive. Qualified. I just got an Spanish accent. I'm not here to do... Just to let you know, I'm not here to Hello, do a good fight. No. No, I'm not fighting. I just got an Spanish accent. But unlike you, I got a degree. Come se dice? Buongiorno, come si dice? That's fucking, it's Italian. That's fucking it Italian, you idiot. Yeah, it is Italian because I'm not here to do a group live. Exactly. It's and if, somebody, if somebody was here who genuinely wanted to do a proper live and ask me questions, well, they would be showing the question. Question. I've got a question. And they wouldn't be opening the live I've got a to question. other people. I've got a question. Why don't you just shut up? If you want a question, I've got a question. You've Can you tell me why you are not a pedo even though you slept with a child? You've had an opportunity to ask me? questions and then you've Lucy, opened up the line these to other people it's to be offensive. It's oh, you're just fact ignoring me. The, the fact feed used to take pictures of his girlfriends when they were asleep and uh, they're all over Facebook. There's loads of girls on Facebook where the fact freak has taken well, pictures of them when he's the he's the he had criminal convictions for domestic abuse and domestic yes. violence. Where is your evidence on yes. this, Lucy? You are good. Lucy, can I ask what made you sleep with a young boy? Right, guys, this is it. Stop. You said Stop. you wanted to ask me questions and you've yes, created I'm a bloodbath. Yes, I'm asking you a question, Which Lucy. is offensive. Can I don't everybody need to speak to down your forehead and answer me why you think you are not I a I don't want to speak to you. You sleep with children. I'm not here. I, I was invited children. to speak to one person. Who oh, claims well. that she was the respectful worked and this was going to be a one-to-one conversation and she's then opened up multiple boxes. Well, okay. cry about it, about it. Now, cry about as far it. as I'm concerned, shows cry her for exactly what she is. She's a liar and she's a con artist and she's a fraud yes. because so otherwise you. you would have had just the conversation with me, but you lured me in and then you opened <laughs> boxes to other Here people. Here we go, playing the victim again, Lucy. You can all you want. You can cackle all you want behind again. your green screen. You can do that. I'm not hiding behind a green screen. It's not how I operate. It's not who I am. And you have demanded. Close those boxes and show your face. Boxes. I'm not showing my face, but I've closed the boxes. No, why though? It doesn't make any sense. Because I, I'm it not doesn't make sense. sense. If I'm dangerous and I show my face and you're the saviour but refuse to show your face, how does that work? I don't need to show my face. Stop deflecting from the. But from it doesn't it, make so. sense. It doesn't Stop make sense. And I don't like it. I don't like it when things don't make sense because I know behind that is you duplicity and lies. You're trying to justify sleeping with a 15-year-old child, Lucy. I don't think I've ever justified what happened in June 2016. You're trying ever, to ever, out ever. of it. You're sick. I've you're never sick. justified it. No, but you're trying to I make think money off the back of it. Make money? How am I making money off something that happened eight years ago? Because you have been heard Tell me. say that you will charge... Because, for sorry, sorry, I you... missed that bit. Sorry, I missed that little bit. Sorry, say again, I've what? You are charging people to tell the full story about the child. What? Yes, Where the hell have you heard that? We have facts. Where have you heard that? We have facts. How could, hey, hang on, let's just unpack that. That's a whole other level of weirdness. I'm charging people yes. to tell the, hang on, how does that, tell me how that even works, I that industry. It, I'm charging people, that's, yeah. listen, that's thrown me right off, I'm going to tell you. That's thrown okay. me right off because I've mm -hmm. never heard that trope. Okay, so I'm charging. Hang on, right, let I'll me just we'll repeat this because I need to make sense of it. I'm charging people to pretend that they were a child to tell the story. I don't get no, that. No, 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 You are charging adults who want to know the facts about what you did. Um, no, you are that's charging not what I told you. Yes, it is true, Lucy. That's I have not at all. 
I have proof, Lucy. I've, I've said, I said, I said quite a long time ago. I said, if you want to know what really happened, I will certainly not be telling you and coaching you. I will spend time with you and I'll answer your questions. Therefore, charge. Nobody you ever, it. nobody ever once came to me because what I was doing there, there is I was trying to call the fluff. I was trying to call people's bluff because people were going, I want to know, I want to know. And I said, well, if you want to know, you're going to have to pay for my time. And that, wow. that was all I said. And no one ever did. Lucy, that is disgusting. You seem to be acting shocked. I find that weird. The fact that you think that's okay. Why? It's not okay because I don't use anybody's names. <laughs> But I've never used any of these things. laughing about but it. I've, just had, I've, I've had situations where people have demanded my personal time for free, a bit like you are now, right? You've demanded my time. I haven't demanded. Um, I offered you up. I haven't demanded. Fuck all, Lucy. Well, you're you're online talking about me. What would you expect me to do? Just yes. allow this to because happen. People need to be raised. The awareness about you needs to be raised. Well, I don't mind awareness. I do not listen. I have never had a problem with awareness as long as it's the facts. But what we've ended up with, which is not, is that it's not facts. It's it not is. facts. There's video that, evidence to back up everything, Lucy. There's video evidence, is there? So you were in my bedroom on June 23rd in 2016, no, thank fuck were you? I wasn't. No, thank fuck I wasn't. Exactly. You shouldn't be in the with a 15 year old child. Why are you swearing? You don't need to swear. Because you're vile. You are justified Stop swearing. with a 15 year old child, Lucy. Justifying anything, there's be no point at any, and I, and I, I'm proper chilled here. I've never justified anything ever. If pushed, I'll give a context because I, I am interested in why people do the things they do, right? As and as I did are, one thing totally. Out, like, if you yeah, listen yeah. to me, no, you're not interested. You don't care. No. Are you a victim, Julie? Hello. Hello. Oh, you can hear me. This is the first time I've done this, so I wasn't quite sure. Okay. Um, yeah, well, Lucy knows me. Right. Um, and I've listened to this for, for some time now. And um, I think, firstly, everyone needs to calm down and, and try and discuss the matter in, in an open way without, you know, triggering people off. And, mm -hmm. and what I also see is a lot of manipulation here, mm -hmm. you know, where, where things are getting twisted and turned into something else. And mm -hmm. you've got to really literally keep to, keep to the facts of, of, of what, what this is about, if that makes sense. Okay, but she needs to justify why she thinks it's okay that she's with a 15-year-old child. Wait, Ice, can you stop letting people in the box, please? Because otherwise we're not going to get the chance to hear what Lucy wants to say. No, can I just say quickly, because I'm going to jump back because I don't sit in boxes with beasts. I am you leaving. Are. You're I'm a beast. Going. Shut up. Don't even talk to me, I am beast. not going to sit here You're and a woman. Be Don't even talk to me. Don't talk to me. You make me feel ill just talk talking to me. Don't talk to me. Come on. You, I'm you, you, went, you, went with a, you went with a child. You're a beast. End of. Don't put any context to going with a child. You're a beast. As simple as that. You shouldn't even be on an app showing your face. So fuck you, disgusting, honestly. You're a little rat is what you are. Well, I am very little. I only weigh about eight stone. Thank you, Big Jam. Yeah, and that's another thing I'd like to poly one. Julia, is one... Julia was talking then. Why did you remove Julia? I didn't remove Julia. Well, you, you removed Julia because Julia came oh. in with quite an open and normal and balanced tone, but you allowed yes. in absolute the monsters then, breaking tone. every single guideline on this app, right? Ooh, and ooh. you, you, you preach rules and laws but you're breaching multiple guidelines by using certain language and okay. i i i cannot understand how you can call me words that the guidelines don't allow and yet you're saying i'm a bad person for something that happened eight years ago now unless you are marty mcfly and you get a time machine and you go back to 2016 and you spend time with me in 2016 you are preventing nothing Right, can people stop letting everybody into the box, please? You're not preventing anything. My 13-year-old son is in the room next door. I kept custody of all of my children. I was deemed zero risk. I, I remain zero risk. And if you don't shouting? like that, 
Is there a reason Get you're shouting? Get a time machine. Is there a reason you're shouting, Lucy? Because I've been called really offensive names. Because you are. And I am. Uh, I am. And, you, and said... somebody was there trying to comment and in a balanced Lucy way, said, and you cut let's her keep off. It calm and quiet. Alyssa, and you're the only one that's shouting. So keep it calm. You need to keep it calm. Okay. So don't practice. You need to practice what you preach. I'm speaking this to your last level. chance. This I'm is speaking... your last chance. Who the fuck One person comes to? in that box and speaks to me like dirt again. You cut off one person trying to speak in a balanced it's, way it's again. I'm gone. I'm done. Lucy, who are you speaking to? Because you've been swearing at me and speaking to me like dirt. And all I've done is finally react. But what you do to people is wrong, Lucy. This is You my don't life. know what I do. I people don't have been any... met. Don't tell me that we I have, have my last met. chance. This is my life, not yours. Okay? And we if haven't I haven't met. Thank God I would never want to meet you. You're a dangerous woman. Very, very dangerous if woman. If I was a dangerous woman, why am I why am I in the community with my children looking? I don't know, but that shit that is so wrong, particularly what with what you said to your Maybe child you about. should try to work out why. But maybe because, because maybe you're, you're you very good liar. Out why? And Lucy, become educated. You, Lucy, can I just ask, right, okay, I'd like to ask you a question about what you said to your child um, on his, about his 12th birthday. Why did you offer to get him a prostitute and buy him his alcohol? 12th birthday? Do you, know when my, do you know what my son's 12th birthday is? Do you know the date? I couldn't give a fuck. I'm asking you why you said what you said about his birthday. No, but you just said, you just asked me about my son's birthday, but you don't know what the birthday is. So I don't need to know your son's birthday. That would be wrong if I did. That would be slightly concerning. You just sure. said... You've asked me to respond to you talking yeah, about my son's birthday. Said, yes, what you, you don't said. know his birthday. You don't know his birthday, though, do you? You don't need to so, know his birthday. I, I want to know how you can justify you've just what asked you said. me about his birthday, but you don't know the date of it. So how, how could, do I need like, to know the date of your child's birthday? That? Stop deflecting and well, answer. You kind of need to know. The date is irrelevant, Lucy. I'm asking you about facts. Why? Why did you say what you said? I think, about the, I think the date is very relevant. Because you said on your son's well, 12th you birthday, your son's birthday, tell me when my dox. son's 12th birthday was. I'm not doxing your child's birthday. I, I, even if I did know it, I wouldn't be well, saying You it. wouldn't need to because you don't need to say his name. It's disgusting. When was my I, son's 12th birthday? If you want to run commentary or when my son's 12th Lucy, birthday was, I'd like you to tell anyone you. what the date was. I hope everybody is seeing now what she's like. This is deflection and not answering facts. Why did you say that about his birthday, Lucy? Regardless of the date of it, why did you say that about his birthday? What did I say about my son's 12th birthday? That you were what did I him, say? That you were going to get him ladies of the night and also buy alcohol and he should tip alcohol over himself. What date was this? I don't have the date. The, the video is on my, on my page. So you're using, you're saying 12th birthday, but you don't have the date. that's what you said for your birthday. Because you've got it wrong, darling. You've got it no, wrong. No, I haven't. Don't call me darling. My name is Sarah. <laughs> Tell me then. You can't start chucking 12 birthday the out the and then not actually have what the date. That is the relevance. Exactly. I thought we were talking about what happened in 2016. But it's Why are we talking about something that's non-criminal that linked. didn't really that's happen? That It didn't really happen. Yes, it did, Lucy. Did it? Yes. Well, do you know what? See if I did that, right? And it's relevant, right? Which would mean it need to be criminal. Why am I sitting here in my bed? Ugh, I don't know. Are you sure? Is there any children in there? Talking or, about stuff. The thing is, you're talking about some really serious stuff here, right? Yes, you I get criminal, you. You're talking about serious, serious, serious things, and then you're talking about stuff that's just pointless. And that pointless. always you said that to a child. someone that doesn't really know what they're doing. I don't think you know what you're doing. I don't think well, you I know do. what you're Trust talking me. about. I know exactly because what I'm doing. you're, you're swithering. You're swithering between something from eight years ago and something That's you claim you, you know about without any actual done. dates. I don't need dates, Lucy. I need I need you to justify what you've said and done. I'm never going to justify what I've said and done. Are you Are you regretful Ever. of what happened with that young boy? What? I'm deeply regretful of what happened eight years ago. So Absolutely. I have to. It, Lucy? Lucy, so why do you boast about it? I don't I, post about it. I, I would rather Lucy, not I have actually, videos if I'm of honest. saying he was shit. He lasted a few seconds. I, and his that was them. not a post. That was not a post, actually. That was me being harassed and harassed and harassed and harassed and me reacting. I've never posted like without being no, baited and pushed. Still, and, you still victim blamed, Lucy. 
victim blamed. Yes. Uh, I don't, I mean, you can consider it to be that. I would rather have his opinion. Well, I'm not going to go and ask it because he's a minor. But that's He's not, he's 23 now, Law. Okay. <laughs> but, He's and you're 23 now. It. If yeah, you think 23 probably... is a minor, I don't think you should be working in safeguarding for children because I think no, you've got your see, dates and ages wrong. Your deflection wrong. is absolutely, uh, do you know what, fair play. The I'm not deflecting. If you're saying somebody who is 23 is a minor, I think you, you, you're you not quite, you know, a full, a full picnic. You slept with him, Lucy. I'm sorry, are you trying to give me news? I don't I get this. Move. What's the point of this conversation? Nobody wants to. What are you? Move what is the wrong purpose wrong of this? What right, is the okay, purpose So I've been this? called a beast, and I've been called a wrongin, and I've been called a cunt, and I've been sworn at. I didn't right? use the word cunt. Again, I didn't use the word cunt. What exactly? What exactly is the purpose of this? To raise awareness about what you have done. You want to raise awareness of something I did eight years ago. Yes. Right. You are aware that this has been on the internet for seven years, aren't you? Yes. So in what way, let's look at the definition, are you raising awareness? Because people don't know about you and you're still working in the coaching industry. How would so people not know if it's been on the internet for seven years? Listen, and I've written I have, I have two had books about it. Lucy, I have had people come No, I'm asking you genuinely, you telling me. how could people possibly not know? Because I and maybe don't they know. don't know, they don't care. But they do, Lucy. And I've had so many people do come they? into my lives. Lucy, can I just no. say something? Stop talking over me. I have had so many people come into my live stream and say thank you for what you've done. You are absolutely That's incredible for raising awareness. Excellent. Yeah. That's wonderful. And I'm glad right, okay. that you've had Sarah, that validation. Sarah, Get Sarah. him off. No. I'm this leaving. Is, I'm done. I told you. I told you. I'm, I'm not doing right. a group live. I'm not here to shout at you. I just, I'm go here away. to talk to you. Do you not like Show my your face. Show you your face like or go away. I'm not doing, a, I'm not doing a, some sort of brutal assassination like I was 12 years old in a playground. This I, female I had to come on this line. Go away. Right, I'm done. Bye. Bye. Oh, here we go. Running because she doesn't like facts. She knows exactly oh, what's I'm happening. not going to be bullied and harassed. No one is bullying you. Her. Stop trying to play the victim. I am having Aren't a conversation with one I've person who claims that she's a professional. I'm not having a conversation with anybody else. She this works, and she works under me. She works under my team. Right, she's run. Oh, she's done a bunk. Thank you for coming up, Ghost. Sit there with a bullshit excuses. Oh, Listen, I, I don't care if this, if this 15 year old boy was one minute behind turning 16. She is still a beast. She is a wrong gun and she's a convicted sex offender. Yeah? And I don't yeah. care how long it is. She run right. like a little bitch because she knows I had the facts and I had the proof. Thank you. Thank you beastie is a beastie. End of. I'm going to use her for my next thesis when I do narcissistic abuse and all of that because prime, prime example deflecting, triangulating, blaming yeah. the big team, plaguing the big team. You know um, what I mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put a poster back up. I don't, I took it down, you know, as she, I've tried to be respectful. I've tried to listen to her. I've tried, you know, but she's just, she's something else. It's, it's totally something else. And the thing is, when I came here, she knows who I am. Yes, that's why she didn't want you to speak. That's why she was talking over me and shutting me down. Yeah, because she knows well, who like I am. the last thing she said, oh, you're bringing up something that was eight years ago. I don't care if it was 20, 30 years ago. While you're sitting on here making out that you are God's gift and you are the most polite, innocent lady, you tell but it's me. Like, it's like she says, for example, right, that to help uh, trauma victims and to help with stuff like that, you don't need qualifications. Listen. You need training. You need training. I mean you're sleeping and with them in bed. No, you're, no, no, I'm not saying that. Just, but what I am saying I'm is I'm saying that. That's what she does. She gathers she, <laughs> she brings Look, them in like Let me she, finish. Let me finish. What I'm saying is I do the job that she does. And you need yes. training to do it because if you are not trained, you can make them worse than what they were. And with her fuck that brain, she's obviously doing it. I was just sorting out because there's more people that want to come up. 
Yeah, I mean, she's, she's just playing the victim to whoever and being paid for making herself be someone that's... At the end of the day, you. she's a very dangerous like, woman. Sad, like, she was very, like, I want to see I your to, face. You know what? Sorry, I'm going to completely... Call. I just wanted to come back in a box. Genuinely, like, I have things to say to this woman. Like, genuinely. Like, yeah. You hmm. won't say it. Unless you are a 15 boy, she ain't entertaining well, you. Do you know what? See, the thing is, is I am actually related to one of her victims. Oh, bless your heart. Yes, I, I was going to say, I am related. I'm actually related to the Positivity Queen. Oh, stalked on TikTok. She's lush, she yes. is. Oh, yes. she's lovely. Yes, yes. So, I, do you know what? I would genuinely like to have my say and my peace because the stuff that she said about myself and my family is fucking vile. Excuse yes. me, my apologies. But she is, yeah, she is disgusting. Absolutely vile. There are more victims, yes. Every single person yes. in here who's watching, who's commenting, who everything. Honestly, the more people that are here, like, the That's more it. awareness we are raising, like, we are raising about this absolute fucking horrible person who genuinely, like, is just, she just, oh my God, it's, she's horrible. Mm. Oh, that's breaking on the sociopath. She's not, she right. she not right. She's not in control. She she's wants not, to Do you know what? The too. hardest part is, right? The hardest part is, is to sit and watch it, right? Like, not only unfold, un, like, unfolded on TikTok. The other thing is really hard is to actually sit and watch it face to face and to actually see what fucking damage this woman is causing. To absolutely mm. everyone, it's, it's horrible. It's yeah. horrible. I've seen I it. I completely agree with you there, Dan. One hundred. Hello, Dan. I didn't even realise you were in there. Hello, Dan. I am <laughs> I'm, again one of her victims. I got the, a phone call off her, and she is a narcissistic wit. Well, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to say it. She is. She's absolutely vile. A vile human being. <laughs> It's, okay. She just tries to justify. You didn't get it. jail time. Sorry, I'm course, not go on. Justify it. She's victim shame. She's there coaching people with no qualifications. Which is hell of a dangerous thing to do, anyway. Yeah, she, all she she in this country, is having that... her poster talk down. That's all she's interested in. That poster from my page, from my Facebook page and my TikTok page. Mm -hmm. I am going to pin her poster to the both of them at the top. Good for you. Because the problem is in this country, you can be a coach without qualification, but for certain things, you have to have training. That's the does. problem. Mm. That she doesn't have qualifications. Because what she was saying before to you, right, about the stuff that she was talking about, as a coach, she can't. Exactly. Because but she doesn't have the training she's... to do that. Sorry, I'm looking at these comments as they're coming through, right? And obviously people are like... She's, she, you can coach with no qualifications. That's not the issue. The issue is the fact of the vile, disgusting things she said, right, about some of her clients potentially. Not only that, the vile things she said about everything else. Yeah. But the, the fact thing is, she... if, if I, am, I am a coach and a therapist as well, if I was to talk like that to my clients, <laughs> oh. I, I just stop working tomorrow morning. Yeah, exactly. And, and she is doing this and talking like you know like oh well no i'm the ghost ghost gift to coaching well you're not no not at all not <laughs> at all because you support your you support the big things that come to you for help you don't be victimize them again so see see me right obviously my 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 oh look everything right so my my handle is mental health dan okay so I, I so I, a massive thing of men's mental health, absolutely, and any mental health. But what I would not do is I would not, I would not advise people because I'm not qualified to do anything. Area, like, like, I, would get, yeah. I would, I would offer support and advice and be like, do you know what? Here you go. This is where I think you should go to, or this is where I think you should go to. I would Thank never you. offer any advice like that. Why? Because I'm not qualified. I'm exactly. not in any way, shape, or form. I've got life experience, not qualification. What? Exactly, but for certain things, right, you are going to, um, but the thing is, you cannot coach a person that has gone through trauma. You have to give them therapy. You, you, have to give them you can't pin with the boxes up, darling. You can't pin with the boxes up, so don't panic. It's not your mod status. It's, you can't pin whilst boxes are up. You know, the, the thing is, a coach cannot coach someone that has gone through trauma because you have to give them therapy. They're two different mm -hmm. things. Yes. And that's what she's mainly touching on. 
mental health topics? What if she's supposed to be coaching? Because coaches, coaches are supposed to help you to make your present light, life and your future better. Yes. Therapists and counsellors help you to deal with the past so you can have a future. Exactly, and that's what she's more touching on the therapy side, and is she's not supposed to do that at all. It's As she's not a therapist, so she cannot do it. Mm -hmm. Good I evening, guys. I really do apologise. My signal is quite bad, but obviously, since I'm her current okay. victim, I would, really like to, okay? I would really like. I would really like to have come in the box when it was there, because I would very much like to clarify everything she has just said is complete false narrative. Yeah. She Thank keeps you. referring to well, what apparently she's still watching, so why didn't she request to come in the box? Because, she because I have the police case open with her, so I could not be seen to be talking to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah last that, yeah. month, last month, last month, not eight years ago, last month, Lucy was found guilty of, found, of, of stalking and harassing yet again the boy and his family and was given yet again another five-year non-harassment order How so can, we, she can she please like stop that? saying that this was eight years ago it wasn't just oh, eight no. years ago was it Lizzie? You, you have continued to stalk that child who yes is now a man and his family for oh. eight years on top of the five-year non-harassment order that she's just been given also includes minors Wow. On top of that, she's also currently serving a 10-year non-harassment order for another victim, another woman. Wow. Yet she comes on here and declares she hasn't stalked anybody. I, me, my partner, my children, my family, my workplace, my... She's absolutely... Partner's workplace yeah. has been hounded and harassed by this woman. Wow. So I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. If I can just say something as well. Having to listen to this false narrative, of course, sorry, my signal will probably go, so I was trying to talk really fast. I'm in the middle of nowhere on the way back from a hospital trip. It's okay, darling, we're okay. So okay. make something of this on, 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 a, on a recording and go, blah, 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 just to get the viewies so she gets the gifts, so she's earning money from it all. Uh, I really hope she's is, in the view. I really hope she's The way she was deflecting is something else. Because yeah. you have already told us what it was, and I have done a deep dive. You know, I told you the other day I was going to do yes. a deep dive and whatever. I have done it. I have looked at all, a lot of stuff. I have been reading a lot of stuff, and she was talking. And in the moment that I came up, she said, You know, I want to speak to an equal that shows her photograph. So, okay, let's go. Let's speak right. to me. Queen of Positivity, somebody here. has said, I don't know what to believe anymore. Is she harassing everyone? Yes. Can you yes. Just yes. say, you know, what, she's, what, what she has said what you know they're, they're, this harassment of of queen is relentless absolutely relentless um lucy jorge that's a really good statement there the job can be used to abuse the most vulnerable individuals yes. that's what she's doing that's what she's doing just just to obviously reiterate on, on what she's saying i mean i've got a friend that's unfortunately going through this um, mm -hmm. and social services and the police deem two different places so like you, you you go through with the police you go through a risk assessment so you get a low medium or high yeah yeah yes. so if they deem to be a high risk social services will always deem them a high risk now if they're a low risk <laughs> in the police eyes potentially she could still have the children with her as long as someone is there with her 24 7 so she could not be left alone with them do, do, do you understand what i'm, what I'm getting at mm. yeah but the, the courts in this country about in a lot of countries when women with women abusers is the, they they are much more lenient is, with is the kids here. than with the men but th this is what I'm saying, you see, if, it, if it's the lenient side of things, which it can be, it depends what risk she's been deemed at with social services. Because although she might be high with social services, she might be low with police. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, that when it went to court, social services could have said whatever, but if the judge deemed that she was going to be okay with her kids, they would let her have her kids, even if she has done what she has done. 
And do you know what, right? I've put my face on genuinely because I know she's still in the comments and I wanted to see my face. There genuinely. she is, our beautiful queen. There she you know is. Hello, gorgeous. Our absolute you know, queen. Have we, of all the nights for me to be out and about visiting in the hospital and I have so bad signal in the countryside. So I'm so sorry, guys. my girl. Hi. Can I say something? Please? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm very new. I've been listening. I literally thought I was coming to a chat about life coaching is it you know should it be regulated and it kind of got deep and then i was out watching i'm thinking hold on a minute someone has been i presume sent down for abuse uh, she's been not been sent down she's been convicted. what she's been convicted convicted yeah convicted she never went to jail she got a probation order oh my Sad. community oh, service as well yeah although she denies the community what? service oh, we all know that's nice oh my that's a woman thing isn't it so the courts are taught now if a woman has a child they have to give them the least thing yeah, that a lower a lower sentence yes yeah. yeah so anyhow sir moving back now how can someone work as a life coach well they can because it's not regulated mm -hmm. life coaching is not regulated in the effectively counseling in the uk not regulated you can set it privately you can do I know, that I know. it's terrible it's dangerous i know isn't it? but the thing is this is what we were saying. You can be a life coach as much as you want. I don't really care. But when you start to treat and to try to help people with uh, of trauma and abuse and stuff like that, not it's everybody wrong, can do it because wrong. you need to have the learning and the tools to do it. No. And no disrespect. I don't mean to be horrible, but um, I did a psychology degree. I passed it, yeah. I work in people in vulnerabilities and I would never, ever be a counsellor because you have to have a master's to do that yeah you do it proper. Exactly. Exactly. that's what i'm saying i do have a master's that's no, I'm, not I can do it. I'm not saying you do i'm talking about this woman no that's well, what I'm, I'm but that's what i'm saying thing. that that what she's doing is making the rest of us that we do the actual job yes but my question is this um that profession can also be i don't know if this person is doing this because i'm not read up but that profession can be used to prey on vulnerable people that's which exactly how, what she which does. is how I'm her now victim. I was Lucy Hawhey's client on TikTok, Thank which is why she is now stalking me. That's how I met her. Can I just say thank you as well, quickly, to everybody in this live that was backing me then. I've never confronted mm. the woman, and she is, I can see how people She's get violent. intimidated by her. Uh, can I just ask that question, the kids in care? So, no, um, I'm with her. <laughs> Um, so, like the lady said, Mel, um, please grade thing one thing, but the local authority do not have to pay attention to what the police, the police grade. So they will make their own judgment, but bear in mind, social services can only make their own judgment as long as there's a strength within that family unit, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. same person possibly could have someone the children can be with, but that same person might not be allowed to be around those kids can supervise and that does happen okay so we've just no, done I think a poll it does happen it can, does I happen well. Sorry, can i just interrupt yeah. we've just done a poll do you think a silent protest should be held 86.6 people then said yes it should be done yeah i would say against because she has a i young, would say against because it child. will make her a victim we all know how she plays these things she'll turn my concern is always children and she has a 13 year old boy in that house yeah which no is that's not fair on her child i agree to the local social services Hi. Quiet. I did. I have contacted. Um. Oh boy, she's there. She's there. I don't really care. I have yes, contacted. Yes, I have contacted social services over there. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, somebody has asked what my speciality is. Yeah, right. Got, what to be my speciality? Yeah. I am. I'm just, I am just, just, just tell him you're my cousin. I was going to say I'm, I'm queen of positive teas. I, be, I base my mental health, my babes, my, I say performance, but it's not even performance. No, I base no, my no. On, on life experience of my own. Yeah, my that's own, the best. That's my the own, best my own mental health. I would never ever, as I keep say, stated, I would never advise anybody because mm -hmm. unfortunately I'm not qualified enough to do that. I'm yeah. here because we all have a voice and we've all been, we've all at some point, who, well, most people here have had, have had some kind of dealings with this fucking horrible threaten that is her. She actually, on on a live, actually stated that I actually tried it on with her. 
Do you know what I mean? Wow! I've yes. got that video done. I, yes. Sarah, I've got every video you've ever mentioned this evening. So the one where With she... that for it? Um, oh my god. I was hey. Hey. Video. I, I would like to just say, I have not said anything on here this evening that I cannot back up. Oh no. Yeah, effectively. No, see, this is the thing, this is why I'm quite yes. happy. I have all the receipts. I'm a girl that likes to shop and I all my see, receipts. See, see, bro. Be it. Between lines, she brought a book about what she did with a this different show. name and she benefited from it. This show? Yeah. Yeah, he has been affected from it. So has his family. She just says social services is more powerful than police when it comes to children. They actually yeah, don't. But if the judge, no. if the judge the say has the put something else. Powers. Okay, let, let's powers. move on from her kids. The, pro the, 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 the point here yeah. is she's a narcissist. Who says she's helping people? She's not. She's in Angie's box. What the Who's fuck? Who's Angie? Angie, Did Delusive you know? Angie. Somebody go jump. Like, it's because it's being. I'm going to go and check now. It's because it's being cam would That's why. That that's very scary. That someone's a life coach. Who? Do you know what? Get how, how she can come on and be so open about it. You handle the narcissistic. Abuse is well. No, a lot. Of, oh gosh, I'm gonna the other thing there. she's actually done as well is gone into a private uh, WhatsApp group that Emma. Oh yeah, this is did horrific. This is really and upsetting. got phone numbers and phoned vulnerable people up and scared them to death. Some of them, anywhere. Yeah. I, I, have, them. I have the voice recordings of the telephone calls too for anybody who doubts Donna's. Um... I, I was one of them, and I'm in uh, police protection. Um, I've run from um, domestic violence. Oh! And, uh, she actually got my phone number and phoned me up. No way. Yes, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. recording. Yes. You can't do that. That is so unethical. Do you know why Angie's jumped on this? Because Angie wants a bit of the fucking fame. Well, I'm sorry, it's not fame when it comes to somebody like this. And this, this is supposed to Who's be a I tell you what, call. all these bloody numbers are dropping like, like flies. Who's, who is this Angie? Uh, she's a big creator on this app. Delusive Angie, her name is. Yes, he's there telling her a story. All right. Do you know what? Right, I wouldn't mind. Right, why? Why should? Why does she think she has the right to tell a fucking story? Because she doesn't have a story. Her have a fucking story. I think she was defending her last time as well. Actually, I've seen a live of Angie's where she was actually defending Lucy. She's she's playing the victim. That's what she's doing. Yeah, that's what everyone else just saying. She's playing the victim. I don't think, listen, we all know she's not a victim, but the, the, the way that the narcissists get, get around everything is by deflecting and playing the victim and making everybody that's going against them be the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, true, Patricia, but sometimes you have to, if you're professional, you have to be the devil's advocate, don't you? The thing is, Queen, you can't go over there, can you, while she's in the box? I mean, I can't go in a box at the same time as her, no. the police. Listen, yeah. I can be I can be the devil's advocate a lot, right? But what she's doing, she I has got gagging orders, Paul. Yes, there's two gagging orders in place. She isn't even supposed to be mentioning any of this, but then that works in our favour. So carry on, exactly. Lisa. But the oh, thing is, she just said a ten-year gagging order, so she can't talk about it. That's her way of deflecting people's yes, questions. Yes, she has. I was shocked, to be honest. Um, I do work with people who have on the SO list, I do, that's my job, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'm not saying approve of it at all. Somebody but... has to do the job, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. do that job, sorry. Um, yeah. But I was a little bit like, we, what the hell? Yeah. How old was this? When the birth of this? When was this, this? And you're like, hold on a minute, what job are you doing? Well, I'm... Sorry, I call her Lucifer. Apologies. I can't even say your name, she's called. No, that it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine, I get it. Um, I call you Lucifer. Right, uh, because I can't say it because it's against guidelines, but I did things to myself that were intense uh, demonstrations of remorse. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So I did things to myself. I, I hurt myself. Uh, I can't say it anymore. Do you know what I, yes, I mean, the I thing is... Mm. 
I read the article. I think something that shocked me, and I can't remember what it was now that they, they said you had done or said. And I can't remember. You've what got it was to remember, now. articles are never going to tell you the truth, love. Right? These these newspapers they make money from the worst of the worst, right? And they make mistakes. They're not even sitting in the court when you get convicted. These people, right? If anybody that believes journalism is facts these days, we've got to be like, you know, hello, you know. <laughs> Uh, my my uh, my way of showing my remorse back in those days was I I I I, I hit the gutter and I I was probably uh, I don't know it's, for me remorse is a wasted emotion I I work seven days a week now helping people escape abuse <laughs> you know. I don't make a lot of money off it. I'm, I'm okay. I'm stable. I'm not on benefits. I own my own home. I contribute to society and I pay taxes. For me, that's how I show my remorse, right? I could be in a council house now on benefits, whining and whinging and taking drugs, right? But I don't, do I? Right? I'm not that sort of person. I take my mistakes and I go, well, that was a cock up. What do we do next? You know, that's how, that's just who I am. And I'm not going to be remorseful now in 2024 for something I did eight years ago in an open way, right? I'm not going to sit and cry and beg and plead. I'm going to kiss my partner and I'm going to love my kids and I'm going to do my lives and I'm going to have fun and I'm going to have a good life because me now crying and begging, what do I contribute to society? Can Your actually, version of remorse, what does that offer society? Can I ask you a quick question? Um, did, did you have any contact with the victim? Because that's what he was, the victim, after the after after what happened. Yes, you, yes. He, he contacted me repeatedly afterwards uh, for several months asking to see me again, which he admitted to the court. And that was read out in court. Yeah, but I mean, he, sure. was, he was still a child, though, wasn't he? But I, I, I said no. Said no. Like, did you not realise like what the consequences would have been like before? Like, you done no. this with this boy? No, I didn't. I but have you to knew it was that. illegal, Lord, didn't? Like, everyone knows it's yes, illegal. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. All I can say is, um, in terms of responding to that, is that have you ever? And I'm not comparing me to anybody, right? You know, have you ever been so? pissed off and upset and vulnerable and victimized yourself that you've said or done something you shouldn't have done and you've thought what? like i call it the fuck it button yeah, and i know my situation that sounds a little bit judgmental i'm trying to, i'm trying to answer questions here okay um i know you haven't and that makes you a much stronger person than me right it makes you a much more high level person than me at that time wow. right to not go to that point to feel validated and safe okay and i i admire you for that uh but that's where i was at that time i was very 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 promiscuous um i'd never been involved with the police or social services i had a, a long career i was 35 when this incident happened and up until i was 36 I'd never had any involvement with police or social services. And I think that's really important for people to know because then people will go, but why then? Rather than judge me, why? Can I ask because you, you don't get people. I just got one question, you know, did you not blame the mother for, for what happened? Because uh, now I, that's what I read. I can't, talk, I can't really talk about that. I can't talk about that for legal reasons. Do you mind what? question yes life life is that okay i'm really life? sorry sorry lucy is that okay if I i'm really you? sorry there's things i cannot talk about for legal reasons and i will absolutely answer any question that i can but there are things i can't and okay, the way you phrase is, that means i can't i respect that i totally respect that and if you can't answer this question it's i absolutely respect that as well i was just wondering if um because I didn't. I don't know with clarity whether you had like a relationship with the, with the with the. Um, I don't want to say the word victim. With the, with the about that. Or, yeah, yeah. So, did you have like a relationship with him before the actual event happened, or did it just suddenly happen, or are you not able to talk about that? I, I already know that life. I can feel you in if you want. Oh, can you? Okay. I'd 
I, 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 I think I can talk about that, but I don't want to take the risk. What I will say is um, it's a mixture of both. And I did, I did actually write a book on this. And, you know, I, obviously I, I tried to do it fictional um, because at the time I was actually still under my uh, police observation when I wrote and released the book on it. The police themselves said it was okay for me to release the book. <laughs> Um, so, because I think what is more imp a more important narrative is why do women national and intelligent commit non-violent illegal sexual acts? Um, because I'm not I'm not a weirdo in in, in that sense. There's there there is a small layer of women in society who have done what I did. And they all come from the same background. And I wrote a book on it because I want to open the conversation on it rather than judge people. Because when we judge people, we forget that we should really be rehabilitating people. You know, another thing also, I think that, you know, people don't understand because you're educating, well, not educating, you're talking about women that have been abused when, you know, with the situation with, well, what happened to that boy? You know what I mean? He was only 15. Do you know what I mean? Do you, Sorry, do you was, not that feel, a, was that a yeah, question? Do you, not, do, do you not feel that um, you talking about women that have been abused, but yet, you know, you you, you did? No. No, because I always say that I'm different. I always, I, in fact, I did a, actually a video about it on my channel. I always talk about how you have to have a certain recipe of circumstances and experiences for people to do what I did. And my recipe, unfortunately, was perfect. Um, and... I mean, my job is to pathologize why people hurt people. And I pathologized myself and I know exactly why I did what I did. Um, uh, but again, I've got to be so, so, so careful to not get myself in trouble and talk about stuff I'm not allowed to legally. OK, uh, I would never say every domestic abuse victim would do this or every domestic violence victim would do this or every SA victim would do this. What I will say is there is a pattern of uh, late in life female one-off s offenders who almost always are intelligent and have careers with access domestically uh, abused um social workers teachers and so on and so forth um they're, they're not common but it does happen and we do all fit a profile we don't do it again it's not violent. We regret it. It's not the P word. Um, God, I've got to be so careful here. Um, but there are, there is a, anyway, never mind. I wrote a book on it. Hmm. Does anyone have any questions? I was just going to say, like, are you qualified to be, like, giving advice to all? Because I'm assuming with your content, you get a lot of vulnerable people approaching you. No. Are you qualified to I do. I have loads of people. people. I have loads and loads and loads of people asking for me to give them one-to-one -one advice. Absolutely. And they ask me based on my lives and my content and my videos. They don't ask me based on qualifications. For a short period of time between July last year and January, February this year, I was indeed a narcissistic abuse recovery coach. I don't coach or therapize or psychotherapize or counsel anybody. I coach people. I stopped doing it January, February because I had some really bad experiences. And I, to be fair, I, I needed to take some time out. You don't actually need qualifications to be a coach. Um, and I never, ever, ever promote myself as a, a therapist, a psychologist. I tell everyone, and I'm quite forceful about it, that I'm a coach. I have four years at university qualifications, and I also spent 15 years in the charity sector in relevant roles, with another four or five years if you want to add on voluntary roles. So I do tick all the boxes for being an expert, but I, I allow people to come to me and ask me for support and advice. I don't push myself. I don't force myself. So if people come to me and go, Lucy, you seem you're going to really be good at helping me with no contact. Absolutely. But I, I don't need to force people to come to me and I don't rely on it for my income. Can I ask you another question? Sorry. So are you on the register? No. Were you on Did the you register? get put on it? 
I was on the register until uh, October 28th or 29th. Sorry, I can't remember the dates. My mum died around about that time. I was on the register until the end of October 2020. Mm. Is that like five um, years? And the way, no, oh, yeah. I was on the register for years. The way the register works, and I've actually done a video on it. Again, I'm not hiding. I'm not being secretive. The way that the register works is that it's actually just a database of your personal information. Um, it doesn't really operate in any other way. I think a lot of people think that the SOR is something really like a magical kind of place or some sort of like punitive context. It's just a database of your information. Um, if you really wanted to be up to no good, shall we say, when you're on the register, it's very, very, very easy. Um, so it's not actually a thing that stops anybody doing things. Um, it's they, they hold your bank card details, your passport details, your phone number, your IP address, your email and your location. If your location changes for three more three days or more, you have to go into a police station and tell them. If you lose a bank card, you have to go in and re-register your bank card. If you lose your passport, you go in. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a collation of your personal information. That's all it is. Um, if you if something happens, for example, you get arrested again, it flags. If you break a leg and go to hospital, it flags. It's like a it's a database of your personal information. Uh, but it does not in any way prohibit or restrict people from doing naughty things or bad things. Um, sometimes when you're on the SOR, you have what's called a, um, what's it called again? Offender management officer. It costs the UK 40 grand a year for you to have one. Um, and what they do is they are uh, instructed with keeping a wee eye on you when you're in the community. So I, when I was on the SOR for the first year, not the other two years, um, they were allowed to come to my property and check my laptop, check my phone in case there was anything, although there had never been anything associated with any offence. Um, because, Like I say, it was confirmed I was not the P word and I kept my kids. But just to tick all the boxes, that was their job. So hey, six o'clock at night, three o'clock in the morning, whatever, I'd get a chap at the door and they would come in and look at all my technology. And that's fine. I had nothing to hide. Um, so yeah that's how it really works does that answer your question but i'm not on it anymore and yeah, when you come off the sor it's deemed that you are zero risk to society when you're on it and in the community it's deemed that you're low to no risk to society right okay can i ask do about, you also yeah. wow. you no know you said about dv people women that have got, gone through dv and you know abuse and all that kind of thing you said it's quite weird but i've never heard of you know, just like, ask people to follow me because if there's anybody watching this is actually realizing that I'm actually an educated, normal woman who is more than happy to be open and authentic. I'd like you to follow me, please, because the smear campaign that's been happening to me on TikTok, I think most normal, humane people would understand and accept has been fucking disgusting. Um, and my children have had death threats. My partner has had death threats um, uh, for absolutely nothing, actually, because people aren't actually talking about the truth. People are saying that I am a serial killer. They're comparing me to OJ Simpson. They're saying that I have relations with my dogs. Um, if I could just point that out. So you're all quite composed and chilled out there, but you, I don't think many of you really understand what my life has been like. Yeah, I answered do you not think that you and I answered to a court and I answered to the police. I don't need to answer to people on TikTok. And I don't think there's anybody in this world that is above God or the police. Okay. Can I if I should just do point you know, out. Can I just ask you two questions? One you said about the D V and the people women that have gone through abuse and all that. You know, in rare situations they they do tend to I mean I've not heard of no. that. For some to with a minor. I know you haven't. I'd actually had never heard of it. It was never in my radar until I did it. And then a documentary maker came to me um, on LinkedIn um, and he said, I'm doing a documentary on women like you. And I was like, right, here we go. And he said, I've got five or six women have been very in very similar situations to you. Um, and I want to include you in the documentary. Unfortunately, at the time, 
um, there was a newspaper article where I had blabbled on and told, talked a load of crap, and it was it was my fault. I was I I was lured into a conversation with a journalist, and I was told it was off the record. And he interviewed me, and we discussed things. And he said, "Oh, I can't use you in the documentary anymore because this looks really bad." And I said, "Well, fair enough. I always look really bad on the internet. Happy days, you know. This is what it is." But he, we, we spent a, quite a lot of time together. He met my children and he spent time in Scotland with me. And he said, I found this group of women who have had abusive relationships, who were essayed when they were little girls, who lit, were, like I say, I said earlier on, positions of authority. They were not, it wasn't about, oh God, language, Lucy. It wasn't about sexual attraction. Can I say that? It wasn't about sexual attraction and it wasn't for me. It was about control and safety and validation. And all the other women had done it multiple times with the same person. I didn't, it was just once. Um, I'm not saying, like I say, it's, a, it's like a recipe for disaster. It's very, it's not common, but it's not rare. What were the minor though? But I, yes, that's what he was talking to me about. Mm. Sorry, Linz, did you want to ask a question? Like you're saying about the, the crap that you're getting on TikTok, do you not think it's understandable when people know that not you crap, advantage darling. of a 15-year-old boy? I, don't, I, 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 I wouldn't mind if it was eight years ago, but I think after doing my sentence and repaying and, and complete, I lost a child. Last time this happened to me, I lost a baby. I lost a pregnancy. Um, I think if we if we all had the ideology that it's okay to stalk and harass and abuse people because they once did something bad they've already been punished for, I think we'd be living in hell. Well, why don't you come up to TikTok? Because obviously, like, everybody knows. And what do you think about the victim's family if they come on TikTok and they say you're on there? And if I could be just nice point, them, is it? No, I can't say anything about that, actually. Uh, I don't talk about that. Uh, not using those those words. I don't. I don't want to talk about that. I'm on TikTok to talk about narcissistic personality disorder and my books. Um, so if anybody is coming to TikTok and see me talking about that, it's because I've been forced into talking about it to defend myself, or other people are talking about it and I don't want it to happen. I'm only on TikTok to do my job. Do you not think, though, that some people on TikTok, because it is a theme plus app, might be a little bit, you know what I mean, because you have done that before, that they might feel that um, they'd kid the kids are in yeah. danger? I think, I think you would need to have a little bit more intelligence to understand that if somebody was going to do an SO offence and they were a repeat offender, let's pretend I'm a repeat offender, I would have done it long before I was 36 years, sorry, 35 years old, and I would have done it since. And if I was assessed as a risk to do an SO, I wouldn't have kept my little boys in my property and I wouldn't be working now. I think people have to unfortunately accept the fact that I'm not the P word. It was once, it was eight years ago, and they've got to get over it really. How does it they have to trust the process. I don't think people they have can just get police. over it. I don't think, yeah, but we've trusted police before when SOs have went on to rape and unalive no. people, so... No, I'm really sorry. You know, I think that's horrendous, but all I can... It's not really for anybody on TikTok to be above the police, though, and to think that they are above it. All, I don't ask anybody to like me or follow me. I am simply on TikTok doing what I do day after day, right, and... Um, just leave me alone, you know, you don't need to follow me, you don't need to, to engage with me, um, you need to maybe understand a little bit about, more about what the P word means and what um, pathological abuse means. It means that people cannot stop um, and they they will continue to do it. Um, that's why I'm on TikTok talking about pathological abusers. They've done it their whole lives and they'll never stop. Um, I'm here to just stay in my lane and and i know if people are upset by it who have never been in who i've never met i think it's weird i'm not upset by what other people have done when it's nothing to do with me yeah but that's that's just you personally though like if, if it's, it's anything to do with kids, i'm a normal person 
I don't. Yeah. I didn't read about Philip Schofield and go and troll him. I just went, yeah. oh dear, well, Philip. What I'm trying to say is, like, well, there's a people, lot of people on social media that involved. read about what Philip Schofield did and made his life hell. It's none of your business. It's nobody's business. Well, I think it is. You know, if, if it's people all, are yeah, so if it's in the public domain, and it's the people are so passionately concerned about crime, go back to university, join the police. Join the criminal justice system, become a social worker, get qualifications like me. I am passionate about preventing continued and ongoing narcissistic abuse. I've gone back to university, I've written books, and that's what I do. I have my concerns and I'm changing the world. If people have concerns, trolling someone doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't make a difference because nobody is going gonna, is gonna to make a difference by making my life hell. So, do you not, not understand, like, this. people, there's many parents on this app and there is children that use the app. Yeah. Do you not understand yeah. where their concern and anger comes from? Regardless I understand if it was eight, eight, if it was eight years ago I or 20 years ago. With someone eight years ago. Yeah. But you, you, I wouldn't be concerned, if, if because I'm an intelligent woman. If I saw someone online, because there's a lot of, there's somebody on TikTok, by the way, that did 14 years in jail. Now, that's a life term right why don't you all go after him well if i find why are you going after is, me? Sure, i've I'm never sure. been in prison like if you let me the thing finish. is i understand people being Carry concerned but there has there has to be a point at which that your concerns meet your intelligence level and you go right police have said she's no risk a court have said she's no risk Social workers have said she's no risk. Mental health clinicians have said she's no risk. And she's not committed an offence prior to that or since. Maybe now I should go make my kids dinner. Lucy, before you do that, can I just ask you, you just said about mental health there. It just made me think. Because um, obviously you do a lot about like narcissistic, you know, contact and all that stuff. And all, it's I not know mental that. health. So it isn't I, a mental health issue. Well, OK, but I've been through that. I did that myself in my own life, so I know exactly what you're talking about. So what I wanted to ask you is, so did you, I, I guess you must have spoken some kind of like social worker, psychologist or therapist or something. Um, you don't need to guess. I spent many years talking to yeah, them. Yeah, I didn't want to presume, so I'm kind of guessing. Um, well, there's a lot of people that are presuming. OK, well, I'm not that person. Um, can I just, uh, what, what I was going to ask was, did you actually have any di mental health diagnosis? Is, uh, as you no. know, so I, I once once the that particular event of 2016 happened, um, like I say, he wanted to do it again a lot. Um, and I harassed me, essentially. And I said, no. OK. And that was in the court papers. Right. Um, I knew I was like, what the France have you done, Luz? Because this was so out of character for me. And I'd never done anything like this before, ever. I and think it's, it's not a really... more than out of character when you sleep with an underage boy. You're sounding a little bit judgy. If you could just be quiet while I answer I that know, lady's but question. I'm just saying, like, you're saying that he harassed oh, oh. you. I think that's a victim blame. He did. Do you know he, what I mean? He admitted it to the court that he messaged me multiple times asking to do it again. That's the fact. If you don't like the facts, then maybe you shouldn't be talking to me right now. No, but that's what I'm saying. If he's right. 15, he's still a child. So it doesn't I make just, a difference. Just, does that. But never mind. Does anyone Would the other lady to like to answer? Yeah, does anyone want any more? I forgot the question. So, the so. other lady asked me a question, and I'm going to ask that question. Are you life on the edge, Orleans? I keep hearing you, like, exhaling because you're so tense and stressed, whoever that woman is. She's really tense and stressed, and she's really triggered. But somebody hey, asked me about mental health assessments and clinicians and had I been assessed for anything. May I answer that question? Yeah, that was me, yeah. I asked you that. Yeah. May I answer that question without the huffing and the puffing in the background, like something out of bloody, you no know, Disney Panda or whatever? Can I answer the question? Yes. Right. Without the huffing and the puffing and the hitting. So essentially what happened was it was extremely out of character and I was mortified by it and frightened by it, if I'm honest. I was like, "Where? Wh what is this? So I self-referred for a mental health um, assessment myself. By this point, I was already involved in the criminal justice system and they sort of jumped on it, even though I'd actually gone myself. So I went to my GP and I, I didn't tell them what I'd done, but I told them that I was doing things that were 
um, inappropriate and self-harming and antisocial and criminal and wrong. And and I, I did, I'm, you can tell I'm very eloquent and I know my stuff, right? I've got qualification in mental health, right? I, I kind of, I'd said it the way I could. I was like, basically said, it was a cry for help. And they referred me for an assessment. They found indicators of complex PTSD, but not enough for a diagnosis um, because I was working and I had the kids and I've got my mortgage. And these days it's very difficult to get a diagnosis of something wrong with you unless you actually are acting like you're fucked. And I've never really acted like I'm fucked, right? I've always been, um, I've always appeared a very stable person and I've always maintained properties and businesses or um, the kids and things like that. I've never been, uh, you know, uh, what's the word without being violated or getting a violation, but I've, I've always hidden or managed addictions, right? And at the time I was riddled, I was chaotic, but I lied, right? And I, I did manage it very, very well at the time. And I didn't want to lose my kids because when you go to the GP and you tell them you've done something like that, you'll lose your kids, right? And my kids were and remain my world. So they did an assessment and they said possible complex PTSD, but nothing else. And that was 2016, 2017. Um, I've never been diagnosed with anything. I've never been diagnosed with a personality disorder. I've never been diagnosed with ADHD or anything neurospicy, neurodivergent ever. They say I've got markers, but they say there's not enough. Um, but you've got to be careful that when you're dealing with trauma and my acting out behaviors are trauma responses that you will not get diagnosed because trauma is movable. So you can be traumatized and act an absolute twat like I did. And then the trauma dissipates and you're not going to get a diagnosis, you know? Mm. So all I can tell you is with as much self-awareness as possible is I am a, I am a reactor when I'm in trauma and promiscuity used to be my go-to method for uh, self-soothing can, can i ask you something because i hear a lot about you know how you felt and you know you're, you're a lot about yourself i can't about talk about i can't talk about him and you know what i wouldn't talk for him it's not for me to talk for someone else yeah i don't think I it's don't for anyone to talk for someone else I don't think it's right how, like, you make out... Well, so, yeah, you're just going to have to go and hunt him down. You'll have to go and hunt him well, down you're and grab him. Me now. And get him Is to speak, because I'm, I'm not going to speak for him. I'm not asking no, I'm you not to speak, speak for him. him. If you let me finish, mm. I'm not asking you to speak for him. You're not letting me talk. What? So I've had the respect right, to mute on. you. What I'm saying is I don't think it's fair <laughs> to... Lucy, to be fair, this is a cycle. Yeah, hold, hold a minute, Lindsay. To be fair, Lucy, you are being really condescending to Linz, and I am actually going to have to say that to you. And also, you're coming. No, up that's no quite, problem. No, hold on, I know. Please come. Like, we've all had the respect to listen to you. Uh, you are coming across rather narcissistic as well, which is quite yeah, worrying. Which is quite worrying when you're actually trying to advise other people on narcissistic no contact. And I'm, I will say it again to you, I have actually been... Tell me what narcissistic no contact is. I've never heard of I've that. What's really narcissistic saying, no contact? You, 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 come, you said you were a no contact poach, yeah? No, uh, basically, if you're in a narcissistic relationship with someone, whether it be a family member, a friend, a partner, whatever it is, yeah? You uh, have to mm -hmm. go no contact. Because you, if you do not go no contact... Ideally, they will, yes. The trauma, that is the, that trauma is the ideal will way. repeat itself, repeat itself, repeat itself. Now, you advise mm -hmm. that. But if you have such narcissistic tendencies yourself, which you are showing, you are showing. Well, when you have I been diagnosed? I know you haven't been diagnosed. Well, we'll get to that in a minute as well, because what you said about. No, um, we won't get to that because I've just already described that. I've been for three assessments. I, I don't think you'll ever find. I mean, a narcissist, oh, a narcissist wouldn't come on this live and be so open and exploratory. But they would, and, but they would, know, Lucy. They would. Would they? they would. I'm glad because that you know more. That part. When you said the masking, the high functioning. They can't. The People with narcissism have shame avoidant personality disorder. This type of conversation would have destroyed a narcissist. They would not. Um, no. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter because you're not narc experts, um, but you you want to be I, Lucy experts. I'm not trying to say so I'm a Lucy expert on, or not. Carry expert. on analyzing. I'm telling you what I have. I mean, I think I've, I've handled witnessed. myself really well how you have come across in a room life. full of people analyzing me i've handled myself really well but in a room full of people analyzing me and tearing well. me to shreds 
about stuff that I don't really need to talk about. We're not tearing it to shreds. Really I think we've been really respectful. Uh, you, you are aware. We're 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 to talk about about you don't have this, to call you any names. We have just been, we have been really respectful, but I will oh, just I have to another little thing as well. You said that you can only get, you know, a diagnosis for certain mental health or mental health if you are acting like you are fucked up. Now, I think that's quite offensive. No, that's not what I meant. What I'm, sorry, let me let me explain that. Actually, it's it's yeah. it's and I'm experiencing this at the moment. I would absolutely love a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder. I would love a diagnosis of neurodiversity or ADHD. I'm a label person. I, I like the idea of being given a label so that I can work on myself and deal with my shit because I know this. I'm not quite your average bear. Um, mm. And I think the majority of people on this planet would never really acknowledge that they're not. And I think people coast through life doing damaging things without even considering that, right? 100%, uh, my son 100%, has autism. I yeah, I agree with you that. But my son has autism and it comes through through the parent. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'd actually love a label and I keep going. I'm actively reaching out to mental health services, but what they have kept saying to me is that, I am not chaotic enough. I uh, so that's maybe I probably phrased it in the wrong way. Uh, that the at the moment funding for mental health services, diagnosis, so, and so on, isn't for women like me. Right? It's for people who genuinely appear to be and or are chaotic and very, very, very unwell. Right? And I actually had a referral to an organisation. Uh, called Tomorrow's Women. And my social worker, when I had one, was adamant I should go to Tomorrow's Women and I would get a CPTSD diagnosis, I would get anger management, um, you know, and, and it came back, Lucy is not chaotic enough. And that, I mean, what so I suppose that was, that was my personal kind of, and, and I've had that, I've also tried to get personal um, diagnose. I've, I've got money, I can afford it. I've got enough money to pay. And I've even gone to private clinicians, but as soon as they hear that you're an ex-offender, they don't wanna work with you. They see you as a different entity, but I'm still a woman, I'm still a mom, I'm still a person. It's the mental health, sir, are you laughing at that? Do you, would somebody you not, laughing at that? No, no, no. No one's laughing. Would you not think that those... I heard somebody laughing at that. You said that it was... You said about masking earlier. Do, do you not think that that's maybe what you're still doing? Hmm. No, not now. I do think... I do think I masked in the beginning because I was scared of losing my kids. Uh, but once I got the conviction, it, everything was out there and I just wanted all the help possible. Um, I would have, I would even now, even last week, I was, I, I, I would do anything now for what I think I still need, which is anger management. Um, I have a lot of grief and a lot of rage and a lot of anger for things that have happened to me through my life. And I don't manage it very well. I really don't. Um, but and, and I I'm self-aware. Fair play to you, that, because actually that comes across. Because I, I've listened to a lot of what you said, obviously, like many people have here. And you said there was a certain group of women in society. And it was really interesting when you laid out what these certain patterns were that had happened in their life and so forth. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, oh, my goodness, you know, actually, a lot of those things happen, you know, happened to me in my life. And I'm sure a lot of those things have happened to a lot of people in a lot of lives. I've also been in a lot of positions where I've had young people around me who I have had, I have been the power position. And I've also worked in secondary mm. schools where my own daughters were and their boys in their year would you always say things, oh, you know, da, 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 about your mum or whatever. I wouldn't dream of it. No. I would I totally not get you. dream of it. I just don't get it. I would not dream of it. Can no, I just you ask, don't get um, it. And no. um, can I just say something? Uh, Sue Willis, do you, do you have any questions? I'll just put her in the box. I mean, there's a there's lot nothing I can do to, to help people get it. Uh, um, there's nothing I can do because I don't I don't expect people to understand why promiscuity is a trauma response. I don't under I don't I expect people to understand that we don't always have sex with people that we find attractive. Sometimes we have sex when we're looking for physical contact and we're looking for comfort. And when we're an ad addict and an alcoholic and we've been through a situation where our abuser was 
made us feel like we were literally not even shit on a shoe and somebody showed us a little bit of attention and we ran at it. I don't expect anyone to understand that because as long as I understand it, that's all that matters. I know, but that does happen to a lot of people, but they don't get confidence like when with an underage person. I mean, Maybe what, they don't get caught. Can I just Sorry, finish off what I, I was trying to say earlier? Sorry, Ange. Sue, the Sue, lady from the North East is bugging me. Hi, Sue. Do you know I feel like she's not? just here to attack me. I, I, I don't know where she really is. She's I not. Yeah, I just want to I ask you I am here of my own accord, by the way. I'm here of my own accord and I'm answering questions. I've probably made you about 20, 30,000 more followers. You know, I would rather that people actually saw the fact that I actually, you know, I don't need to be here. I could be like most people on TikTok and keep all my skeletons in the closet and lie. And I could sit behind a fake account and I don't, right? I don't. Yeah, hi Sue. I've got on I'll ask you a question, is that okay? Hi Angie. Uh, yeah, I just want to ask a, a question. Um, the last time that she was in court for the, the um, for stalking, um, did you not get another assessment um, for your mental health then? No. For stalking? No. Okay. Because you have stalked <laughs> quite a lot of people, haven't you, um, in I Scotland and in the North East and... See, this right, is okay. Can I can I answer that? Which is quite disturbing, you know, when, when you're trying to is help it? people in mental health. Can I and answer the question? Stalking. You're ranting. Can I answer the question? No, I'm not ranting. Well, can I answer the question? Absolutely. I have had two Section 39s. One was 2016 and one was very recently indeed for behaviour online in 2022. A Section 39 is indeed a stalking conviction. It is two or more, two or more, you can two, only two pieces of unwanted contact or content online will get you a stalking conviction. In 2016, it was posts on my private Facebook page. In 2022, it was two YouTube videos I did. I'm talking about just recently, um, in 2020. Oh, yeah, honey. In 2022, I did two YouTube videos. I then pled guilty to it on the 5th of March. But the offending behaviour was 2022 and it was two YouTube videos and they were rolled up into what's called a Section 39, which is indeed stalking. Unfortunately, these days, a stalking conviction can absolutely be content online. You don't need to go to that person's house. You don't need to phone them. You don't need to go near them. And people can Google this. It's called a Section 39. Please do Google mm. it. What about Have the lady in the northeast that you've just? What about the lady in the northeast that you've just been stalking? That lady, oh God, that's a word that I'm not entirely convinced I'll use. Um, as long as she says, well, I'm she is a nurse, her, so you know, she is a nurse, so she is quite high. Emma, up you're in saying Emma is a nurse. Yes, yeah, she is a nurse. Well, she was a nurse. Yes, okay. she doesn't work. She doesn't have a job. Well, she does. Sorry. No, she doesn't have a job, darling. Yeah, she does, because I do know her. What I will say is people can say whatever they want about me, but until I'm convicted of it, they're a liar. And you just need to look at her account and you can see she is constantly ranting at me and ranting about me. She's not a stalking mm. victim until I get a conviction. And no, while she's the other way around. While she continues to post at me, it's very weird for her to say that she's a victim of me. Because if you're a victim of someone, you wouldn't really be posting at or about them on social media, would you? It's the other way around. There's lots of posts about uh, about her on your pages, not the other way around. I would, everyone, please, hi folks, please go to my page and have a little look. It was on your non-contact page. Your non I don't have. Post. I have one. I have one. One TikTok account. It's this one that I'm talking from right now. Hi, oh, you did have if another anybody, one. 
It was the non if no anybody contact sees, coach. This lady, this lady, I feel sorry for her. If anybody sees any accounts, I do with my feel face sorry for her. I really do feel sorry name. for her. You've put her through Listen, her paces. I have paces. one TikTok account. I have one TikTok account. And it's this one. If anybody, you did have the anything, non-contact coach. You were, you did have the non-contact non coach. coach. I've never had an account called the non-contact coach. Now, I have one. TikTok oh, yes, you did. It's, it's this one, non-contact coach. You did no contact. No contact. It's called the non-contact coach, was it? Oh, the no, the, the no, no contact coach. Contact. No contact. Oh, thank you for correcting yourself there. That was Jan. I, oh, I, I do lost apologize. That in January. No, you should. Um, I don't have that anymore, um, but if you could look at that, even then, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, thank you for correcting um, yourself that you did have another account. I had an account called the No Contact Coach, yeah. This is my only account. I don't have any other TikTok accounts. There are multiple you accounts on TikTok. Yes, I had that account called the No Contact Coach. Thank you for correcting coach. yourself. There's no, a lot of calling it the Non-Contact Coach. You were calling it the Non-Contact Coach. Um, yes, but you did have another account, so thank you for correcting yourself. Lucy, yes, I've had loads of, I have loads of social media accounts, Lenny. Also, Lucy, I'm, I'm not going to let anyone else in the box, guys. Uh, hi, Hen. No, no, I don't think you should, because you're letting absolute weirdos in. Well, they, they, I'm they, not a weirdo, I work speak. in mental health. You are a weirdo, you don't know what you're talking about. Can you hear me? Oh, I do. Come on, speak and see what she has to say. Hi, Hen. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Guys, Sorry. I'm actually going to go. I've not even had my um, dinner. I've not eaten all day. Um, unlike the rest of you, um, I actually kind of have a life. Yeah, I'd like to actually go and have my dinner. Just this last lady. Yeah, please. Hi, everyone. Please follow me. My name is Thriving Through Hate on TikTok. I have suffered stalking and harassment and abuse most of my life. And they've oh. also been convicted. Sorry, Angie, I've got her affected. Yeah, sorry, guys. Now I'm turning microphones off because oh, you can't get it back. Can you turn your microphone back on? I can't. Oh. Why did you turn the microphone off, guys? Exactly. I don't understand. Ah, uh, you haven't got the power. I'm talking to, to get information. Do you know what I mean? Don't do that, no, guys. I was, gonna, I was literally going to get information out of her. That's, I've, I've never come across this woman. I was just listening to you guys live. It's very interesting how, Isn't it? yeah, she came on and she's very much saying that she is basically coaching and helping other women that are victims. But you're, so by law, you're actually the perpetrator. She's a perpetrator. So how, yeah, so she how is. now, like I wanted to really get the psychology behind it. Like why does she think that helping other women the, that are victims of basically the crime oh, that she committed. This is what I mean. I didn't want people to yeah. attack her. I wanted to get information out of her. There's no yeah. point going in. And that's why I let certain people in, like Han, Sue, people that were going to jump on her. I know her, how it, you, you all feel, but, you know, it's you know like yourself, Han, you know, yeah. it's asking questions and getting information. Do you know what and I mean? And probably asking the right questions in the right way. Yeah. Look at the way that she yeah. kind of was phrasing her answers, like the way she was, oi! Zaki, <laughs> the way that she was um, phrasing her answers was very diplomatic and very careful. Like, she felt very superior, yeah, didn't she? It's very calculated, very premeditated, and yeah, there's a certain way to kind of ask the questions to get yeah, the right Yeah, quite bold, wasn't it? Yeah, gosh, it's crazy. There's though, that so much information out there on her. There's so much out there on her. Yes, I've never been creeped out by the person before, but boy, she creeps me out, that one. I had to shut up because I would just have kicked off because you just make excuses. No, I didn't want people coming. That's why I put the people in the boxes that I've got in. Yeah. You kick off, she's just going to come out the box and then yeah, you're not going to say nothing. Yeah. Oh, I mean, bring yeah. her Angie, nobody did actually attack her. Then she started yeah, like throwing yeah, insults at us. I so when you have interviews with the police, or you know, you got these people that got the interview serial killers. They don't jump on that person. Yeah, you're not supposed to jump on them anyway. You know, what I mean? no, yeah, can somebody get her back in? And the comments oh, are still off. Yeah, it was annoying. Okay. Somebody get her back. in. I'll drop Angie and then she can come back in. No, no, this uh, this box is Sue. It wasn't to do with you. Someone turned her mic off and she dropped. Yeah, someone did that to me earlier. Is it not a glitch or something unless people are turning off? Because mine oh. turned off.
I don't know. I it might be a glitch. I'm not a mod on this cam, so. No, no, I didn't see you. I didn't even see you. No, I know that you haven't done it, Linz, but I didn't see it. Um, I'm saying it could be. A do you know glitch. what I think is really interesting? When she talked about the um, the different like narcissists that are, that exist and like how the cycle behind what she did is actually due to like trauma mm -hmm. and the fact that she. Did, I don't sees herself as a perpetrator in her I head. No. I think she sees herself as a victim. She sees herself yeah. as a victim. That's why she's a narcissist. That's yeah. why I tried to kept, like I kept on trying to ask. I was like, "You're saying that this young boy harassed you. He was a victim of your grooming. So obviously, if he's going to be texting, wanting to see you again, he's obviously being groomed by you." Yeah, exactly. And it's victim. <laughs> That's your tech. You know what I mean. Mm. And then she's just going to get out the box, jump out. No, I didn't see that. I was trying to see it like in a decent way. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't going to go like bluntly at her. Yeah, attacking her the way she is, she's not going to accept that at all. She will. She's not going to. Yeah, those type of people they don't really react well to that. You have to like. Well, that's why want to talk back, and obviously we'll have our own opinions on it, which is why I kept quiet. But it's you just um, you know that so you're going to find that info. Yeah, exactly. The, the boy that she slept with was her best friend's son. That is mental. Yeah, I can see that she that she about the mother, but she's saying she couldn't really mention, you know what I mean? Did she actually go to prison for it? No, no, she didn't. She said she didn't. Yeah, now I know, I know, I know, I know why you didn't let me in. Because I know. I know that you would have, you would have gone and like. <laughs> I was like, literally, my blood was boiling. I'm not even gonna lie. Like that bird is. She, oh, she's crazy. Wrong and and then oh, sitting yeah. there trying to justify her actions like like i'm yeah. not being funny if that was a male the whole of TikTok would have been erupting yeah. with the justification exactly. right. you know what? No, i was gonna say that, that no thing the only reason i'm telling you in because i knew you was going to go in like yeah, a lie yeah and you were trying was, to get stuff no, out she's heard it all before she heard it all before she would have jumped out of the box i wanted to hear what she, you know her side what's happened and what she the can justification talk from that woman's disgusting but the thing like, is literally she just, 15 year old and she was 35 and then do you know what she did afterwards because of it all come out and everything like that, she started abusing the family and then saying to the boy, well, he was a shit shag anyway. Oh, well, that's yeah. what talking about the mother, because she did attack the mother, didn't she? So there was a yeah. mother's fault, but she can talk about it. Like, there was a group of people that were on to this person, do you know what I mean? And then obviously they, her accounts got taken down and everything like that, so she disappeared mm -hmm. onto another platform. Now she's come back trying to build her following, hence why she was asking everyone here to follow her, which exactly. I hope nobody did, because like I said, she's, a, she's literally just come off the register. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, she, she was saying that she was getting you 20k followers i was like i'm just gonna go on close if this it, like i said if that was a male yeah i just know i know her mentality and there's no point saying well wait a minute yeah. i've got my own clear what are you talking yeah there's no point yeah. you know what i mean she's got her own you know thought you know what i mean i can see the way she and thinks she you have to admit she's that pop with that no face you have to admit like, by letting her speak she actually showed everyone her true self oh, she really did yeah, absolutely yeah. i was sat listening yeah. just the way that she was with yous when yous tried to speak yep yeah. like, she was condescending talking down yeah, was 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 superior. Was you taking my you time because i know you'd get jumping you beast. i had so much to say to her and then like literally soon as she dropped her thought all right then like yeah yeah that's but why she'd... we're trying to get in i even oh, messaged andrew like get me in now, now. <laughs> like you all handled yourself well i can't lie because if it was me like i said it she would have been ripped a new one Nah, it's, it's hard to keep quiet, quiet, I can assure you. It really was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was hard. I, I wanted to jump over the most I was asking to accept me right now. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I need to get And she's literally there. just come off another stalking charge. She's just come out of court. That's why she's saying yeah. she can't talk, because if she knows if she opens her mouth again, then she's straight yeah. back in there again. Yeah. That's what I was trying and to get out of her, but never yeah. went to prison. <laughs> she did what? Community service. It's all online, people. All you can all type in the name Lucy Hawley. Everyone go to Google and type in Lucy Hawley and you'll see her. She's there. So she when she there. did the coaching program thing, was this before or after uh, she got No, just that, listen, do you, want, do you want me to throw a bit more into the mix? This bird okay. actually won Come Dine with me. Yeah, she did, yeah. yeah. Did she? Yeah, yeah she did. Oh That's why she like she's sitting there saying about oh, how the papers picked on her. No, they picked out her out, her case, because of she was a known figure for being on the TV. Well, she did oh, it I'm glad, you didn't leave me in the box because I would have been bananaed. She is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely <laughs> the way disgusting to call herself a woman.
I know, I know, I know, but yeah. like I said, you go in, then you, you don't want to get any answers. You don't get nothing. I think we I all want to say that, that she there, shouldn't be get. getting any backlash after so many years. Is just unreal. It don't matter whether it was thirty exactly. years ago. Exactly. People, people to get, get over it. That's what can got I, me. Well, can I just say, people that think they've exactly. given up. Oh my heaven! I haven't given up. I, I ain't gonna lie, Angie. I was on my live and I was like, "What the fuck is Angie doing? Giving her a platform, no, like, especially when she turned around and said, right, everyone add me up.'" And I was like. Nah, as if like that's why I'm glad that one of your mods did mute her when she tried to do it again. Yeah, but I didn't want to. Do, I know I didn't, but she dropped. You see, that's yeah. Different. Well, that's why I'm glad one of your mods did that because they've done the that. That's what happened. I saw someone, someone else's. I saw her, she, no, she was on someone else's platform, and the woman, the host, kept interrupting her, and I and I wanted to hear what she had to say, and it was she not good. Good. So I said I requested for her to get into my box so we Thank could all ask her questions. Thank kind you. of in a you know uh pay you know be patient let her, let her talk mm. and it's not giving her a platform like you like you said she did show her you know it, 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 yeah in a way because you can see she is a narcissist you know the way she was um just wanting to talk and it she was just the way that she said with that that like you accidentally like said so you said non-contact coach like i'm sat here saying yeah no it's no contact coach but she was just going mm. and then as soon as you said no contact coach mm. thank you for correcting yourself like she's a fucking uh, like she's above everyone. Do you know? Yeah, that's, that's what it was. She was talking down to everyone. Lynn's was getting at her. Thank God, Lynn's good girl. Because she was getting at her. She was talking down to someone, a piece of shit like her. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, no, I don't understand how people... Like, did she have the no contact, like, coaching thing after she got convicted? Is yes. that what it was? Yes. yes. So why are people going to her? I don't understand. Like, where are her... Because well, not everyone was aware of who this lady was until people brought awareness to her. Okay, right. Do you get what I'm saying? It was only when people found out who she was and then they started to do their awareness, there was another group of people who were doing that and they were bang on her. Do you know what I mean? She ended up losing her platform on here. Oh, I'm leaving the comments back on now. Sorry, guys. And went somewhere else. But the thing is, the worrying thing is, oh no, fear. She's going to be surrounded by a lot of vulnerable women. And she that's really is. That's, thing. Yeah. that's but just scary. What actually bit. got me and my blood. When I say like it, it took my blood pressure up. Was when she turned around and said, "What was it?" She turned around and said, um, "About." All the people in her society, the the women that have done it, yes. that are the SOs. Really like, yeah, yeah. yeah, that got me. I was like, well, yeah, they don't sleep with un, un, underage kids. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Not all of them. Exactly. I can show you they don't. She knows right from wrong. Name's she, Lucy you know, Hawley. Vegetable. If you type in no contact coach on uh, Google, you'll find her, Lucy Hawley. It's a way she was talking down to some patronising. And it'll come up. And she was, was like, Angie, she didn't even talk, talk about these kids. Get you 20,000 followers, Angie, through this. Yeah, and then sometimes like, oh. I hear that. I forget it, forget it. Oh, that is crazy. I just wanted to ask her some questions, like proper deep questions and see how she answered them because that's crazy. Like, it was just the way that her answers were so premeditated and like calculated. Yeah. You could tell that this girl has probably has a script in front of her and knows exactly how, like, I'm not being funny, but those type of perpetrators and defendants in court, they don't, they don't really go to prison because they see them as very intelligent narcissists that are very clever and calculated. When she said, um, social workers and the, the criminal justice system see me as no risk, well, no wonder. Because look at the way that you're portraying yourself. Exactly. I was going to say, it was the way she said they, that, Han. That's why yeah. I was saying to her about masking. I was going, don't you yeah. think you're masking now? Don't you think that's what you're doing? It's, yeah, it's exactly like she turned around and said that they didn't deem her a risk, yeah? But look up what the S... I don't want to say on there, what the, yeah. the register's about. It's for people they deem a risk. Do you know what I mean? And predators. And that's what she was on. She was on that register. Yeah, she was she on the SLS. Yeah, the SLS. Oh, sorry. No, no, she's she just making excuses up. That's all she was doing. She just yeah. doesn't see what she's done. She doesn't give a shit. If you'd have asked the question, she probably would have laid through her teeth anyway. Yeah, the only thing yeah. I didn't believe her on, I think she's being very, like, secretive, is the whole mental health. When life on the edge, I talk about the mental health. Definitely, there is some element of mental health. The fact that she didn't even go to prison for what she did, yeah, there is an element of... She's got no remorse at all. 
But those type of people will lie to your face and you would believe yeah. them in a heartbeat, yeah. honestly. 100%. Yeah. yeah, so I'm I'm not surprised that the verdict, yeah, the verdict was it, as it was. But it would be interesting, like, it's not even like the fact that Angie gave her a platform. It's the fact that it would be good to question her and just see where her questions lead her. Because people she actually think, oh my God. Pan, Pan, yeah. She was actually on a platform about an hour before she came onto this platform. Oh, okay. And that's how she that. came on here. So we, we didn't, you know, Andy didn't, didn't bring her on this platform and give her a platform. She yeah. was already in another room earlier. Do you know what I think it was? It was more a case of when people have come in and the comments are off and she's in there fucking giving it that, add me up and all that. Mm. Everyone was infuriated. Do you know what I mean? Like, fucking. Yeah. Like, yeah, this, I, I, admit, I was like, what the fuck's going on here? That's why I come over to try and request to come in because I thought, this is fucking bonkers. Like, this absolute nonce is sat here. I'll say, I go, fuck. Nonce is sat here trying to justify our actions when if it was a male, the whole of TikTok would have gone mad gone about it. it. But okay. even them trying to justify why they had met that person. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Or even message that person to get into that situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted to know about her relationship beforehand, but she couldn't really talk on that, she said. She didn't even seem sorry for what she's done. No, she, she, she wouldn't because in her head, she feels like she's the victim. She's the one that's been, yeah, she's the one essentially that's been groomed. And it's she's happened the one that's to her. Been, yeah, it's happened to her. And those type of people are like, they're very dangerous individuals. Like their mind just works really? completely different to normal people. So yeah. the fact that she, you know, the court didn't really find her a risk. I'm not very, I'm not surprised. But one thing that really I wanted to ask her on is about her kids. The fact that she still has her kids and their boys is what is very, very questionable. And that's why I hate the criminal justice system in this country. Like, why does a woman like that get to have her kids? Like, if it that, that, a male, they wouldn't have them. One million percent. It doesn't even male. Like, even if it was a woman that suffered at the hands of a male and had, had you know, had kids, her kids would be taken away, mm -hmm. even though she's a victim. Do you get it? But this woman has her kids. It makes no sense. I think she spoke her way out of it, like you said. I think oh, she's one million so, percent. you know. Oh, she's wound. Yeah. She knows the question she's going to be asked, so she's got it all prepared. And she wrote a book about it. Yes. And she, in a very sadistic, really messed up way. Like, I actually <laughs> want to read her book. <laughs> I the book <laughs> I'm a predator. Like, the little like, I want to see what she says and why she did what she did and how she tries to... Well, I don't. Too many nah, see, let's, can we not even... I'm not being funny. Let's not even advertise that shit. No, please. let's not. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that, because that's fucking... Yeah, that's just... I just hope people don't go to her for some coaching. Oh, me too. I wanted to know what qualifications she had. That's what I wanted to ask. We didn't know, Blake. Doesn't, she's doesn't, she have to, um, doesn't she have to disclose it now? Oh, no, it actually depends how long ago. She said it was eight years ago, so I don't think she has to disclose it. She came off the register in October, I believe. Yeah, but being on the register, um, you don't have to disclose. Like, they already have that information. Yeah. It's the criminal record, the convictions, that she doesn't have to disclose now if she were to go work. Yeah. It's bloody hell, man. That is, that is crazy. They brought gifting her as well. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I was like, what the hell? Like, what is going... Yeah. This well, you know what TikTok's like. You will get your followers that are going to do that, aren't they? So... Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know why that is? That's because of the way she tries to present herself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't right, get me yeah. wrong. She comes across very... Like, if you hadn't met her before and you've only just believe, come though. into the conversation and you hear what she's saying, like... She was on that bit where she was saying about how she was being bullied, trolled and everything like that. Yeah. Beforehand, people who didn't hear that would have been coming in thinking that she was just a normal person being trolled. And that's yeah. why I wanted to get in and keep making the mm -hmm. point. Because every time she would have said to her, like, I would have been like, yeah, but that's because you're not see behaviour. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, she would have got it yeah. every single time. But she's just trying to... Yeah, Did it, you it's feel mad. like what she said about the TV, like in some ways made her to be the victim, like she's been seen to be the police, and that's why she did what she did with the police. In rare circumstances, that happens. And I was like, does it? But can you imagine this? It, to oh, me, shit. from what she says, it sounds to me like she's got groups of women that have all done this same sort of thing. Yeah. And they they probably all justify their actions as to saying, yeah, we ain't in the wrong. She's, she actually referred to it as a trauma response. A trauma response. What? I went like, what? what? Yeah, she referred to it as a trauma response. Yeah. Hi, Willow. That was it. She did, yeah. Hi, Willow. That is many Hi, many can many I just tell my story? Nope, oh, I didn't. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Very clearly. 
<laughs> Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down, take a breather quickly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I heard that then. Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm shouting. I'm new to it and I don't know what I'm doing. So tell me if you can't hear me If after this. But, uh, when my child was 12, I had a nervous breakdown and he went into temporary care while I was in hospital. And during that time, his foster parent SO'd him, uh, SA'd him and it was well known and nothing was done about it and they were still allowed to carry on as foster parents my son is now 44 years old and he's still messed up in the head through that so to hear that woman blathering on really annoys me she makes out doesn't she that it was like cons like consented in some ways like it was just a normal relationship you do yes. it. it was disgusting. It made my mm. blood boil. And did you hear what she said? He wanted more and more, but she wasn't going to give it to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From that, I felt it felt like she was saying she was in like a normal relationship kind of thing, like kind of weird. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I think there was more to it, to be honest. Yeah, same. Well, she laughed yeah. about it. I mean. You seem just to have remorse. That, I mean, listen, even if you have remorse, it's still a minor, for God's sake. Do you know what I mean? But she had remorse. She didn't tell me about it until about. I don't, one second, I don't know if she was, if she was here at the beginning, though. No, at the beginning, she was crying. Did you yeah, hear no, she that's was crying? Her, that's how she does it to try and win your own. Listen, like, this is the latest uh, news report on her that's okay. on Google, yeah? And this was published, I think, the first. Oh, 11th of March 2024 yeah and it is come dine with me sex offender blasted over dangerous online life coach personnel mm -hmm. yeah. Lucy Hall who won hit TV show convicted of sleeping with a 15 year old boy is moonlight as narcissist hunter do you know what I mean like you read through the article and it's just mad the 43-year-old mum from Glasgow has also sparked fury from Moonlight in online as a narcissist hunter and professional coach who brags. Yeah. Oh. Who brags about raking in cash and dishing out from dishing out relationship advice. That's the whole reason she wants to get her account up again because she was so pissed off. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Willow. Oh, why am I shouting now? I know, I was gonna say, why are you shouting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm shouting. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> Mr. Shouting, I'm not used to it and I don't, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, yeah, Willow, that's, that's okay. And okay, you drop can... me down then, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Willie. Willie, really sorry. Bless her. Uh, sorry to you, but you're done, man. Oh, bless her. Yeah.